All right, so we're going to start talking about how to install GPT for all. First thing is you want to go to their GitHub. I'll have the link for this in the description below. So they have updated it since I even started recording this tutorial. They now have a the GPT for all J, which looks like it's a it's something similar to Chat GPT. It's basically UI, a user interface for it. So if you want to have it just on your system and type your own type thing, you can install this. What I'm looking for is to connect it to my Python program. So official Python bindings. I'll have a link for this also. But this basically goes to the Pi Llama CPP. Um, they're basically combining Llama and their GPT for all to make a Python accessible version. And from here, it's actually pretty simple. Uh, you just scroll down a little bit. It's gonna talk about dependencies, things you gotta have installed. A lot of this is designed for Apple Silicon. So the M1, Max, those type of Apple products, Linux. Working on Windows is iffy. You wanna pip install Pi Llama CPP. I already have this installed. One thing to make sure is you do wanna make sure that it is installing package 1.0.6. Now it's, it does say sometimes it doesn't work, so you can actually custom build it. You have to build it from the source. I tried this, the git clone, it wouldn't work for me. It's saying that my my processor is not supported, so I had to do it the other way, so I, did, I went through pip. Same thing as using this model here to make it easier. I tried it, it actually was slower, so I went through and did this. So what you have to do, on your terminal, you're gonna be running this long, long code. The first half is you're gonna be converting the model into this GGML format. So you just go back to, basically this goes back to the first page, that uh, GPT for all page. And you wanna download this file right here. The GPT for all LoRa quantized uh, bin file. So you wanna download this file you got a torrent, you got a direct link, whichever you feel more comfortable with. You're not doing the rest of this. Don't do this. At least I didn't. The GPT for all model is over four gigabytes, so you're gonna be, might take a minute or two. One map later. Now you need a path for a tokenizer and you need a path for what's gonna come out, which is gonna call converted bin. So where the hell do you get a tokenizer? Well, the good thing is they actually apparently got that question enough. So if you go down here, this tokenizer from Hugging face works fine. So you click this one, it's gonna take you to this site. I'll have this site linked also. But you scroll all the way down to the bottom, tokenizer model. You're gonna download this. A few moments later. Once you got both of them downloaded, you're then going to go in your command line. So you have something that looks like that huge command. You hit enter and you wait a little bit. A little longer than a few minutes later. Once you run that, you're going to get a bin file that you want to rename to GPT for all dash model bin. Makes it easier that way. If you want to just use their code. And that's basically it. Next thing you do is create some Python code. The way this works is you are importing model from the PyLama CCP that you installed previously. This function right here is a callback, so this will end up showing the words typing as as it's kind of processing them. You're loading that model. Main thing is to change this to where that bin file that you just downloaded is. So I have a folder called models, and in that folder, gpt for all dash model dot bin. Next thing you're gonna do, you're gonna generate your answer. This is your prompt right here. So once upon a time, how many tokens that you want it? To, so a token is either a word, a syllable, punctuation, a space, or some other special character. The number of threads, they default to eight. You can go 10, you can go 12, you can go lower. There's a whole lot of discussion about if higher is better, lower is better. I found on my computer, 12 seems to work okay. 10 seems to work okay. Really anything higher than those, it kind of lags, anything lower, and it just takes 
slower to process. So if we run this, we got once upon a time. Didn't have any type of ending punctuation. It's going to try and continue on and finish that sentence and then go from there. So if you want to say once upon a time, there was um was a monkey named Bill. We're gonna give it some punctuation. Just kind of change that to ten, just to run it. Came Bill. He lived in the jungle. He was always on the lookout for bananas. Blah blah blah. So if we change this to one hundred, we should get a longer answer. See now it's going and giving a answer where it previously stopped about here, let's say, just to guess. So it went roughly twice as long, but then stopped processing. A very simple thing to do to start with is change this to prompt and now we can type in anything you want tell me a story please so now it works tells you a story Next thing you do, you can save this generated model as a string. We'll give it a quick, quick question. I'm sorry to hear that. Don't know why it said that, but this is what you typed. This is its response. And because we printed it, it printed the, what you typed again in the response. You can see it saved it as a string and printed it out. If you were to, let's say you want to remove that. I don't know why we put that. Selling fish slice. Now you you can't see the individual processing as it goes. You have to wait for it to finish and then it's gonna post everything at once. Depending on what you want, if you wanna have it look like it's typing it out, you can keep that you can keep that callback function in there. If you want it to kind of do its processing on its own and then spit everything else out, then you can put that string answer in a variable and use it anywhere else you want in your program. This is the GPT for all kind of module that I made for him. I threw in randomizer. He has his speech function. So this is what if you want to have your computer talk. I have a video on I have a video on how I did this. I'll put that in the description and a little tag up in the top. That new text callback. Right now I'm just gonna assume all his questions are tasks for him to do. You can go into different prompts, you can do different things to make it work better. Just like uh, chat GPT, you can give it a prompt so it can kind of pre-think of itself as a, a helpful assistant, an arrogant assistant, a poem writer, a storyteller. You can have different prompts to, to kind of prime it. All I'm doing is just writing whatever, whatever question I'm getting. I'm just going to add a question mark to the end of it regardless of what it is. I'm assuming it's a question for it to do. 
It's gonna randomly pick one of these things to say to let me know it got it, do its thing. Once it gets it, then it's gonna give me an answer that kind of corresponds with what it said. Processing request, request completed. You can also randomize this if you want to, but I just kept the same so they work together. Then it's gonna try and speak the answer that it got. If anything fails, print that it, there's an error and we're just gonna pass it and then go from there. This is more for just me testing it out. All right, cut this part out. Something about a monkey named Fred, I don't know. Processing. This may take some time, sir. Processing completed. Fred, also known as the monkey with a heart of gold, is an albino capuchin monkey who was rescued from an animal testing facility. He now lives at the Jungle Island Zoological Park in Miami, Florida, where he has become quite the celebrity and even has his own Instagram account with over 23,000 followers. Fred is known for his adorable expressions, his sweet nature, and his loyalty to his caretakers. So there you go. Took the prompt, processed it, and read out this answer here. That's basically it for how I got it to work. Might not be the best looking code. I uh, never said mine is good. I'm an, I'm an idiot that's learning how to do this, but it works. It's something fun to mess with it however you want. It does a lot that changed even while I was editing this video. So take a look at it, mess with it. Let me know what you think. If you make anything cool, let me know in, in the comments, post a link and uh, until next time, bye.